Yo, what is up, people? Man. Let me let me start off by saying, man, I, I love this industry, man. I really do. I love the washer culture. If you don't think that this is a culture or a community, man, you are sadly mistaken. Like, we got our own lingo. We got our, our own way of, of talking and, and moving around and stuff like that man I, I really love the whole industry vibe man and everything that uh, all the different washers are, are able to bring to the table and uh, everybody's different personality and swag while while doing the same you know uh, sort of thing you know as far as washing goes but man, you know, like I, I posted something earlier, you know, I, I really wanted, now I'm thinking that I should get a website, you know, and I haven't, I've never had a website uh, for my business or for anything. And people say, well, you never had a website, but you stay busy with leads and, and, and whatnot. And yeah, it's true, man. Like, I've, I've never had a website. The majority of my work, I'd say 95%, comes from word of mouth. You know, that's it, man. I've, I've, I've laid down a foundation uh, in my area, you know, just by hard work and, and dedication, man. And, and the word spreads and it gets around. And that's just the way that I gain leads, but I'm wanting a, I'm wanting to be like I'm I'm always looking for a way to be more legit with my business, more professional looking, and just adding things and stuff like that and whatnot. So now now I I was wanting to get a, a website made a while ago, and I actually had somebody making the, the website for me. And that's <laughs> a funny story, man. The person they we we clashed a little bit when it came to like creative ideas and stuff like that. And I don't understand why, because it's my website. You know, I should want I should I should be able to have full creative design. And the person, the guy, he he called my he called what I was doing. He said it was tacky. <laughs> you know? He said he said what I was doing or my creative idea or whatever. He said it he said it was tacky, man. That I don't really get rubbed the wrong way like that. But man, that that thing that thing did something to me, man. I was like, yo. Like, I wasn't upset either. I was just like, I just don't want to work with you no more. You know? And that's only happened maybe a handful of times. Maybe three or four times. I think three times where a customer just rubbed me the wrong way and I fired my customer. I was like, yo, you find somebody else to do it. Because, like, and that that's really hard for me to say, to turn down, you know, good money. But like I tell my kids, all money is not good money. And sometimes people can be so overbearing that you just, I just rather not. And it takes a lot for me to get to that point. And that's happened in this profession. That's happened about two or three times. So <laughs> I fired my web designer. I was like, yo, you're fired, bro. I just thought, I don't even want this website anymore. And that was maybe seven months ago. Uh, but now, now I'm kind of wanting a website. Like, I want something to be mine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got I got kicked off of Google. I, ha I, haven't, I haven't told you all about that. I, they, they sus I mean, they suspended a lot of people's Google page. I'm not sure why. But they suspended my free Google listing. That kind of hurt me because it was free. Like, how do, how do you get kicked out of free? 
so that, that kind of messed me up too you know what i'm saying as far as like my my way of thinking and to try to get leads and, and with google and all this stuff like but my whole thing was man i don't really get like 95 percent of my leads don't even come from social medias i just make the videos because i like it but Google, free Google listing, count your days, buddy. <laughs> I love Google, man. I don't know why they kicked me off, man. It hurt my feelings. <laughs> they really did. And I reached out to Google and, uh, via email and, and whatever. And, and, you know, I tried to fix it. I don't know what how to fix it. I tried to fix it. I contacted them. They gave me a, a tutorial with uh, YouTube to watch to try to fix it. It didn't work. You know, it's been two months since I've done that. I haven't heard anything back. So, whatever, man. I'm, I'm you know, my whole thing is that it, it's none of this stuff that I'm talking about has ever stopped me from from working. Obviously, so you know, whatever with that. Um, I'm just here to do a small little touch up. It's looking for the place. Here it is. So, all right, y'all, man. Um, another thing I want to say is when I posted that, you know, about the the website, man. I didn't comment on the post. I just I wanted to see how many people was going to be recommended. That way, I can choose from a list. And I, I appreciate all y'all for recommending these people. But one thing I I really noticed that stood out to me was that a lot of these people was was started to DM me, right? And almost every one of them was was backbiting and bashing uh somebody that was recommended. Oh, don't go with this person that was recommended on the post. Don't you know everybody's throwing everybody under the bus for a dollar, man. It's like dude, like I like I I, I don't want to work with people who just blatantly throw people under the bus j just to make a buck you know what i'm saying like i i like i'm all about integrity man you know what i'm saying like that's that's what my business is built off of is is hard work and being honest you know that's why I bleach life like i'm not gonna lie to my customer and everybody had a problem because i said bleach like that was the boogeyman like if they ask me what I'm spraying, I'm spraying bleach. It's an industrial bleach. It's called sodium hypochlorite. All right. It's still bleach, man. At the end of the day, it's still bleach. And it smells like bleach. And it and it definitely, if it gets on your clothes, not mine, because we, you know, I 100% polyester is more bleach resistant than, than the regular clothes. If they get a couple drips on them, it's going to turn it like bleach does. It's bleach. And I just like to call things what it is, man. You know, everybody likes to mask and cover up stuff. And, and like, I don't want to work with anybody who who just blatantly throws people under the bus. You're already starting off terrible, man. That, like, that's bad practices. Like, I don't want to deal with anybody who, ha who does stuff like that. So I'm going to keep searching, man. Uh, there, there is there are some good prospects. Um. That was recommended a couple people there that I, I really that really stood out. I, I did some background work and I like what they're doing and, and how they move around and how they talk. So I just want to pick somebody who's matched up with the pressure man who, who has that same type of quality vibe that I got going on or whatever. Um, so I hope y'all out there killing it. Wash on pressure man. I'm out. Bleach life, baby. <laughs>